Chair recognizes the Honourable the Member for St. George's Humber. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I won't uh, take a lot of time in, on this bill as well, but I just wanted to uh, get up to say a few words in support of the, the legislation. Um, uh, what we're doing here is we're changing the Financial Administrations Act, and the Financial Administration Act is an act which governs the way we spend money and the way we account for the money that we've spent. Yesterday, we uh, we looked at changing the uh, the uh, uh, in Bill 65. We looked at changing the uh, way that we uh, account for the way. Uh, money is spent. That's a very positive change. It allows people to see uh, where we are financially and then it, it encourages a public debate about how we spend money, how much we spend and, uh, and uh, things like that. So that was a very positive change and today we're, uh, we're uh, talking about another uh, piece of legislation that will change the Financial Administration Act of this province uh, in terms of Enable, enabling government departments to give uh, funding for, uh, for community-based organizations uh, for multi-year uh, multi funding. Uh, so this will allow organizations uh, that do good work in our community to, to plan better, to, 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 uh, to uh, be able to have more stability in the work that they do, and uh, we'll be able to, for example, uh, in terms of people who work with uh, community-based organizations, uh, uh, they, they because of the way they're funded year by year, they don't have a lot of uh, continuity. Uh, they, they, as they get close to the end of the year uh, contract, maybe they're concerned about uh, whether the funding will be uh, given again for the following year. So uh, this impacts on the ability of community-based organizations to retain good employees because. Uh, because they're possibly looking for employment elsewhere that gives them more security in their day-to-day -day lives. So, so those are, are some things. It allows or, the, the changes that are being made today allow organizations to to do a little uh, little more planning in terms of long-term planning and the way they operate. They're able to uh, plan for uh, two or three-year programs rather than just one-year programs because they have that certainty around the uh, around the funding and I, I just want to say before I close that uh, these community-based organizations they're really good value for money in terms of the way we spend taxpayer dollars here uh, the, these community-based organizations I know I have a number in my district that, and that others that from outside the district that service the area they uh, they provide many different services uh, and they provide them at a very cost-effective manner. They leverage the work of volunteers. So, so the ability to improve the way that we fund these organizations is very important to the efficiency of these organizations and the way they operate. And it's very important to the people in the communities uh, that are serviced by these organizations. So it's a very important piece of legislation. I want to compliment the, the government for taking this approach and also the Minister of Finance for bringing forward these changes in legislation in a very timely manner. Uh, so I just wanted to add my voice, and I'm pleased to see there's support on all sides of the House for this piece of legislation. And I think it holds uh, a lot of potential in terms of the way we fund organizations. So I'm pleased to support this piece of legislation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.